welcome to the circus, folks. It's time to take a stroll down Embolism Lane with the ignorance-infected women of The View as they attempt to fix race and policing in America by <laughs> beating white people. Yes, really. Get ready for a spew-inducing show as Whoopi Goldberg and Anna Navarro say the dumbest shit you've ever heard. Guaranteed to make you wish a meteor would hit the earth. These things don't seem to make sense to people unless it's somebody they can feel or they can recognize. But how many times do we have to, do we need to see white people also get beaten before anybody will do anything? Yeah. Wow, that sounds like a really good deal. Do we need to see white people also get beaten before anybody will do anything? I'm not suggesting that. <laughs> So don't write us and tell me what a, you know, what a racist I am. God damn, that was racist. That was racist. Oh my God, you are a racist. When black people killing black people causes your mind to twist the fabric of reality in order to somehow blame white people, it's because there's something wrong with you. I just love how she's basically admitting that our media completely ignores stories where unarmed white people are killed by police. Honestly, like, how insulated do you have to be to not know that police are already beating and killing white people? In fact, it happens more to white people than black people. <laughs> now, of course, Whoopi and her coven would probably lose their minds and come back with the fact that police actually kill black people more per capita. And that's actually true. But what they wouldn't say is that black people are also overrepresented in violent crime and murder, making it more likely that their interactions with police would end in shootings. Now, I'm not saying that there's no racism in policing, but I am saying that you don't necessarily need it in order for black people to be shot more per capita than white people. Although I'm sure that I could always be proven wrong by the racism of the gaps, which basically just means that any disparity you see between races is automatically because of racism. In the same way that a religious person may explain all the mysteries of the universe by saying God did it. And how many more times are we going to have to see black youth beaten to death, beaten to the point of not being recognizable? and do it over and over again. Trayvon Martin, Eric Gardner, Michael Brown, Tamir Rice, Steve Stephen Clark, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Tyree Nichols. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Let me break it down like this. There are millions of interactions between black youths and police every day in this country that do not end in beatings. It's hysterics like this from Anna Navarro that lead Democrats to believe wildly inflated stats like thousands of black people being killed by cops every year when it's actually around 25. And that list of names doesn't even make sense. For one, Trevon Martin was killed by a security guard that he attacked because he thought it was a gay rapist. But, but, you, but you felt that there was no doubt in your mind from what Trayvon was telling you on the phone about the creepy ass cracker and so on, that he absolutely believed that George Zimmerman, this man, you didn't know who he was at the time, but this man was pursuing him. Yes. And he was freaked out by it. Yes. Definitely after I say it might be a rapist. Michael Brown robbed the store, then attacked a cop. After which, people like Navarro spread the hands up, don't shoot myth that was used and still is used as justification for violence to this day. The others she listed are more complicated than cops hunting down black youths, and they're also spaced out over the course of years. Who wants to take bets on how many names of unarmed white people killed by police Anna Navarro knows? People like Jason Clover. Zachary Hammond, Daniel Shaver, or Ariel Roman, who was unarmed and killed by a black officer, who was acquitted, by the way. Or how about the two white people who were shot and killed in their home during a no-knock warrant that two black officers lied to obtain? Nobody knows their names, unlike Breonna Taylor. In 2020 alone, there were 457 white people killed by police without anybody knowing about it. It's almost like white lives don't matter. They only care when the victim is the right color. And if the police aren't white, they'll still find a way to blame white people. Look, I've said it before. I do think there's a problem with policing in America. 
There's way too many low IQ, psychotic tyrants out there who think that the Constitution was something they heard in passing in high school. Many literally do not think that it matters to them, even though they took an oath to protect it. You can see these people operating daily on YouTube channels that do First Amendment audits. But when they try to make this all about race and they pretend like they don't know unarmed white people are killed by police, it should tell you that they don't actually care about solving this problem. They care about virtue signaling. And they may even be actively trying to sabotage the effort by splitting their opposition down partisan and racial lines. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, then leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Also, make sure to join us in my new Discord. You can find the link for that in the description and pinned comment. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.